Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will finish our discussion on how to add more control over our alerts by introducing the Rule Set tab. I will also briefly discuss the remaining tabs within the Conditions pane. The Rule Set tab allows you to define when an alert will be sent. The default for this is Notify Every Time. However, if I was to execute this job every 30 seconds, that would generate a lot of email alerts. I can restrict this by clicking on the New button and fill in the information here. After providing a name for this rule set, I can select the type of rule set I want to apply if applicable to the specific condition. There are two types of rule sets that can be used within Century 1. They are the count-based rule sets and the time-based rule sets. The count-based rule sets allow you to specify how many times a condition must occur prior to receiving the alert. The time-based rule sets allow you to specify how much time the condition must remain true in order for an alert to be sent. In this case, the SQL Server Agent Job Started condition only allows a count-based rule set and will not allow a time-based rule set to be defined. I can select how many occurrences must take place prior to me being alerted in the Process Actions After section. In this case, I only want to get an alert after the first occurrence. I will uncheck the box next to Within 1 Hour and change the Process Subsequent Actions Every to alert every 5 additional occurrences. In the For Up To box, I will change this to 0 seconds to make sure that this continues perpetually and click the Save button. Once I click away from the Conditions pane, my settings are saved. Two other options need to be discussed in the Rule Set tab. These options are the Window and Window Behavior options. The Window option allows you to set a specific time when the alert will or will not fire depending on what is selected in the Window Behavior option. The description of the window behaviors are self-explanatory. Creating windows and schedules will be discussed more in a different video. Finally, I wanted to briefly mention the other two tabs that are present in the bottom of the conditions pane. The description tab will provide you with a description of the condition that you have chosen, and the message tab provides you with a way to edit the message text within the alert. I will discuss the message tab in more detail in a different video. If you have any questions about this information, or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.century1.com. Thanks for watching.